Welcome to my channel. My name is Dee, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to do a basic face for a dance performance, so a competition, maybe a theater show, um, even just like an in-house spotlight or a little showcase. It doesn't matter. Whatever you need, this is stuff that it will be bulletproof if you get the right products, and even then, it's just something that will easily get you through and it'll make for some really nice pictures. So if you've ever wanted to do your own makeup, this is how you start. And I'm gonna start at kind of a basic level. And I don't mean basic like pumpkin spice basic. I mean no frills. Pretty easy, straightforward. And then I'm gonna teach you how to take it from zero to like super extra. And so you can do as much or as little as you like, but the basic is always still there. And so I hope you really enjoy this tutorial. There's gonna be powder, there's gonna be creams. Never start it in something that you have to pull up over your head. Also, never start it in a dress because what if you get it on yourself? So I really recommend starting in something like a really comfy robe. Let's get there. All right, now that we're all set, I'm washed, I'm primed, I'm ready, I'm gonna sit down. I'm gonna tell you a few things first about how to prepare your skin to do all this makeup, and then we'll get started. Before you put anything on, you need a nice canvas. And that doesn't mean you need perfect skin. What it means is you need to have your face washed, and you need to at least have it moisturized. There's a couple of things you can do in addition to that. One of the things I really like to add to my moisturizer is this called the Ordinary. You can get it at Sephora or Ulta, and this is their caffeine solution. So you just take a couple drops, you drip it into your moisturizer, you rub it together, you pat it on your face, and what it does is it, it tightens your face. And this is great for ladies of any age. Like I have puffy under eyes, I just do, it's not because of anything, it's just, I don't know, genetics. It's nice for anyone who feels like they have a little extra water weight and just wanna tighten it up a little bit. Then, you know, make sure your hair is out of your face. Usually I would have my hair done first because I don't like uh, my hair preparation to disturb my makeup, which it can sometimes with all of the hairspray and all of that. And so I got my robe, I got my hair up, and now, after being moisturized and all clean, we can start laying the first layer. The first layer is not foundation, despite the name. It's actually primer. You wouldn't paint a car without primer. And so you shouldn't beat your face without primer either. I have combo oily skin, so I really love the Hourglass Mineral Veil. I'm gonna warm it up in my hands. It's really silky. I usually just say screw it and go, you know, over my eyes, a little bit over my brows, over my lips, just so there's no harsh border. Cause there is a few things worse than putting on your face <laughs> and then seeing a big primer border like across your lips. Ugh, ugh, ugh. So with all that, you got your base. Now comes the real deal. Your foundation it can be whatever you like. The most important thing is whatever you like and whatever works for you. Whatever makes you feel good, whatever you trust. Honestly, if you trust your makeup, you're gonna feel good in it. So if you trust this and not that, that's fine. My personal favorite, and I've tried every single foundation in the books that claims to be sweat proof because me, I am the human version of Niagara Falls. I move, like I'm sweating right now. Let's just put it that way. I am sitting with lights on me talking and I am sweating. I have two states, almost sweating, definitely sweating. I love the Cover FX Power Play. These mothers stay. They stay. Nothing can move it, especially with a good primer. So if you want to double up on the sweat proofing, this is where it's at. And I match 
my color to my chest, not my neck. Because normally if I'm outside and I'm getting tan, I have sunscreen on. So my neck is paler, my face is paler, but my chest will be a little bit darker. And I want to look like one consistent shade. So I always match to my chest. So I'm not super tan right now. I'm pretty tan, but I also don't have a spray tan because it's in quarantine. This is also why I don't have nails on and I feel like a declawed tiger with tiny little stubby hands, my little T-Rex arms. I'm gonna use this G plus 60 and I mix it with my G80. G is for golden. If you need help finding your skin undertone, I highly recommend you jump to Sephora or Ulta and there's plenty of people who can easily help you find a foundation in the color that you need. The way I like to apply it, if you like using a brush, use a brush. I strongly prefer the Beauty Blender. I really like this because it gives a really natural texture to the skin. It takes a little bit to learn, like anything good, you know. You didn't get that dance step in one day, did you? I usually do a little bit more than I think I'm gonna need so I don't have to go back. And I'm gonna take the fat part and I'm gonna scoop it up, grab my mirror, and I'm just gonna dab, 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 dab. I usually start on my nose because that's where I seem to need the most. And then I kind of spread it out from the center of my face. you feel like you didn't get in like the little crevices of your you can actually do just a little dab on the blender squeeze it I have a dog and so his fuzzies get everywhere he's a sweet baby his name is groundskeeper Willie Willie oh hi baby come here this is my baby. This is my groundskeeper, Willie. He's where all the fuzzies on my face come from. Hi, baby. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Ah! I'm gonna let him sit over there now. My eyes don't have it, but that's because that's not something we're gonna be putting foundation on. And the less powder that sticks around here, the better. The way that you always want to organize your foundation routine is you do primer, then liquids and creams, and then powders. I have one more cream thing that I like to do. I do like cream contour. Uh, any contour stick works well as long as it's what you want to use. I really like the Fenty Beauty contour sticks because they come in a zillion colors and they stay creamy. A lot of contour sticks tend to dry out really quickly and you can't have that, especially if you want to pay for it. So I'm going to start with my cheeks and you can find your cheeks if you suck your cheeks in and you'll see kind of the line that you want to make and it's usually from the top of your ear and you want to go it down to about halfway down your face. You don't want to get it too close, be otherwise you're kind of almost painting a mustache on yourself. So I'm going to take this and I'm very going to very gently go I'm going to do it on the other side. All right, it's not perfect, but nothing is. It's fine. And then I'm gonna do a little bit on my jaw. Just right in the corner to kind of shave off any edge. And I'm gonna blend it all out. And then I'm gonna do my forehead. It's gonna look a little extreme because we're only in the cream and liquid stage. When we do powder, it'll be a different story and we can fix a lot of things in that point that we can't otherwise. 
Okay, now, last thing that is cream is concealer. I really like the Fenty concealers because they, they come in a really wide shade range and they actually adhere really well and they don't oxidize, which means it doesn't change color once it's exposed to oxygen. So for concealer, we're gonna highlight our face. So I'm gonna take the pointy part and I'm gonna use it to get right up underneath my eyes. I'm gonna blend it outwards and a little bit down. This is also gonna provide a really nice base for the lower part of our eyeshadow layer. It's powder time. The first thing I wanna say about powder, if you are competing in a place that is very dry, Vegas, don't use a lot of powder. You will look like a mummy if you use a lot of powder. That being said, First thing we're gonna do is bake our under eyes. So this is called baking. It actually comes from the world of drag, so get over it. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my powder, take a sponge, it's dry. It has a flat edge though. This is the Vera Mona powder sponge, and I'm just gonna take it. I'm just gonna take it and press it up underneath my eye. So I just get a little bit there. Just kind of get it in there. This is really where I want to seal that concealer. The powder I'm using underneath my eyes is specifically for underneath the eyes. You can use one powder for your whole face, it's fine. But I really love the Laura Mercier. Boop, boop, boop. And this is the Secret Under Eye Brightening Powder. Really love this stuff. It has really nice reflection in like a camera shot. And that's what we're all here for. That beautiful camera shot of your amazingly sculpted face. That's the best part. Then I'm going to do an all over powder. I really love the MAC setting powders, especially the Patrick Star, because it's this really beautiful peachy color. I have a big fluffy powder brush. This is a real techniques brush but I'm just gonna take some and just tap it and then I'm gonna just kind of very gently brush it all over my face. And the powder is the reason I like doing my face first because I don't like getting powder in my brows and eyeshadow after I've already done it. So I'm gonna take a tiny little fan brush any brush will do, and I'm gonna get the excess out from underneath my eyes. Also, powder is a lot like glitter in that you want to put the cap on after you are done. You only have to make that mistake once. So now we've done our base powder, and now we're gonna add the rest of the powders that really kind of creates the face and creates like that soft look on it. And so I like to work from Dark to light. So contour, blush, highlight. So for contour, I really like the Tarte Amazonian Clay Matte Waterproof Bronzer. I get it in the darker shade because it shows up nicer, it smells like chocolate, and it's actually pretty waterproof. And you don't need a lot. So you just kind of press the fluffy brush in, and then I'm gonna very gently blend out Starting at my jaw. I'm gonna blend it down into my neck. A little bit more. I'm gonna blend out my forehead. And one of the ways you can think about creating the powder on your face if you wanna start here, is you get your brush and you make a three on the side of your head. You're gonna go forehead to cheek cheek to jaw, so whoop, whoop. So 
now I'm really starting to have a really nice cheek look. Mmm. Mmm. So now you can see how like the center of my face is the stage. And that's kind of the beauty of making the eye look really big, is you have a really nice stage that sets up the main event. So that's kind of what we're doing here. And we all want that picture with that beautiful sculpted face. Now to blush. So for blush, pick whatever blush shows up on you and goes with your skin tone and makes you feel good. But you do need more of it than you think you do. For blush, I really like, my favorite, it's kind of dirty, is this Bysart palette. It comes in, because now I have six blushes and I can travel and I can use whatever I need that day. I'm gonna take my brush and I'm actually gonna sweep it through these. So I'm gonna get a little bit of that red and I'm also gonna get a little bit of that berry. And then I want to find the apples of my cheeks. I'm gonna smile just a little bit. And find that apple and you're gonna go boop and brush it back. And you're gonna go boop and brush it back. This is how you get it placed perfectly and you don't bring the blush too far in the center of your face. You should be living full clown realness right now. Yep, that looks right. Perfect. The other thing I like to do to kind of add a little bit of shine to my blush is it's so well loved it's falling apart, but it's this MAC uh, hushed tone. So it's a copper and it's really shimmery so it's a little bit deeper and this is great for when I have a really deep spray tan on. I'm just gonna kind of, and I'm just gonna put it on the higher part of my cheekbone. And so now I have a little bit of shine there. Highlight is not just trendy, I think it's really important because you don't want all low tones with nothing that really brightens. Color theory, whatever. So I like a small, dense highlighting brush. These are just real techniques. Love these guys, little face brushes. I think this is the contour brush. Everything has lashes stuck to it. When it comes to highlight, I can make a whole video on highlight. I'll put it here when I do. This is something I learned teaching some older ladies how to do their makeup. One of them at one point told me that a store employee told them, you're old, you can't put highlight on. If you do it wrong, no one can do anything. But if you do it right, you can wear whatever you want. So I'm gonna teach you how to do highlight for my ladies of a more advanced age. I usually put highlight in my forehead. If you have 11s, don't put it in the 11s. If you have forehead lines like I do, don't put it in the forehead lines. On your cheeks, make sure it's underneath any under eye creases you might have. Don't put it over any crow's feet you might have. Don't put it in your smile lines. Just avoid it. So highlight highlights the things that you want to highlight. And so if you don't want to highlight it, don't put highlighter on it. And the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to start small and work big. So I'm going to get a little bit on my brush. I'm going to do my Cupid's bow first. Do a little bit on the bridge of my nose. Always tap it for powder control. I'm just going to do a little bit on my forehead right here underneath my forehead line so I don't accentuate them. And now, cheeks. From here to here. And ladies, if you feel like you're a little bit older, just don't get it in your under eye lines. That's the only secret that you need. Yes, mmm, that is stunning. And so as you move around, you'll see how much this highlights your bone structure. And that's what you wanna see. And to set my face, 
powder specifically, I really like the MAC uh, Fix Plus. It does a really good job of getting rid of the powdery look and it dries quickly and so then if I have any fallout from my eyeshadow, it doesn't stick and I can brush it off easily. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take it and I'm just going to spray myself in the face with it. I use more if I'm in a dry place. I use less if I'm in a humid place. A fan is the best way to get it dry. Sometimes I'll use a little mini hair dryer in the hotel room on cool. All right. We're looking pretty sculpted here. I'm feeling good about it. It's going to be really nice and sweat proof. Now we can move on to our next video, which is the main event, the eyes. Alrighty, everyone. So that's it for today. So I really want to invite you before you go to like, share and subscribe. And if you hit that little notification bell, you'll never miss a video. I also want to thank Brent Mills of Music Mills for the music that he provided me for my channel. So kind of him. He's linked down in the description. If you need a program for your studio for running the music, for music library, you can speed it up, you can slow it down. There's all kinds of stuff you can do it. And he also has a ballroom playlist where you can get new ballroom dance music every single month. It's super easy. Link is also in the description. I also want to thank Carly for all the amazing editing work that she does and all of the great technical help that she's been able to provide me. So thank you so much. All right, so I want to let you get on to that next video. Thanks again for watching, everybody. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.